Ifrit, also spelled as Afrit, Efrit, Ifrit, Afrit, Afrit and Afrit Arabic, Ifrit, Frit place Afrit, Ferret are supernatural creatures in some Middle Eastern stories. In Islam, this term refers to the most powerful and dangerous jinn. Description The Ifrits are a class of infernal jinn and also held to be a death spirit drawn to the life force or blood of a murdered victim seeking revenge on the murderer. As with ordinary jinn, an Ifrit may be either a believer or an unbeliever, good or evil, but it is most often depicted as a wicked, ruthless, and evil being, a powerful shaitan. Ifrits are believed to inhabit the levels of the underworld or desolated places on the surface, such as in ruins or caves. According to Islamic sources, the Ifrit has a fiery appearance with flames leaping from his mouth. It may be a danger to people, but can be destroyed if someone recites a dua Islamic prayer near it. In folklore, they are commonly thought to take the shape of the deceased at the moment of death, or the appearance of the shaitan. In the Islamic traditions of Siriban, the Afarit are known as Merkayangan, a subcategory of demons. But their origin is different from the other demons, since the Merkayangan appear after someone died improperly, while the demons are descendants of Iblis. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The word Ifrit seems to be of Arabic origin. Traditionally, Arab philologists trace the derivation of the word to fur afara, to rub with dust. Some Western philologists, such as Johann Jakob Hess and Karl Wallers, attribute it to Middle Persian Afritan which corresponds to modern Persian Afritan to create. <laughs> Islam An Ifrit is mentioned in the Quran, Surah and Naml 27 -38 Solomon said. O assembly of jinn, which of you will bring me her the queen of Sheba's throne before they come to me in submission? An Ifrit strong one from the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your place. And verily, I am indeed strong, and trustworthy for such work. One with whom was knowledge of the scripture said, I will bring it to you within the twinkling of an eye. Then when Solomon saw it placed before him, he said, this is by the grace of my Lord, to test me whether I am grateful or ungrateful. And whoever is grateful, truly, his gratitude is for the good of his own self, and whoever is ungrateful, he is ungrateful only for the loss of his own self. Certainly, my Lord is rich, free of all needs, bountiful." According to a hadith from Bukhari, an ifrit tried to interrupt the prayers of Muhammad. Muhammad overpowered the Ifrit and wanted to fasten him to a pillar so that everyone can see him in the morning. Then, he remembered the statement of Solomon and he dismissed the Ifrit. According to a narration about Muhammad's night journey, an Ifrit sought Muhammad with a fiery torch. To get rid of him, he asked Jibra'il for help. Jibra'il then taught him how to seek refuge from God, whereupon the Ifrit get away from him. An Ifrit, meeting Imam Ali, is mentioned in different Shi'i accounts. According to the Shabak community, Imam Ali became incensed against an Ifrit for his unbelieving. Consequently, he bound the Ifrit in chains. The Ifrit appealed to all prophets since Adam for his release. But no one was able to free him, until Muhammad found him and took the Ifrit to Imam Ali. He freed him on the condition that he would profess his faith for Islam. In the Qizas al Anbiya, stories of the prophets, Afarit perform the orders of Iblis to plague Job. Each of these afarit are endowed with specific abilities such as turning into a furry storm or killing by shouting out. <inaudible> <inaudible> Arabic literature In One Thousand and One Nights, in a tale called, The Porter and the Young Girls, there is a narrative about a prince who is attacked by pirates and takes refuge with a woodcutter. The prince finds an underground chamber in the forest leading to a beautiful woman who has been kidnapped by an Ifrit. The prince sleeps with the woman and both are attacked by the jealous Ifrit, who changes the prince into an ape. Later a princess restores the prince and fights a pitched battle with the Ifrit, who changes shape into various animals, fruit, and fire until being reduced to cinders. In the book, the word is used interchangeably with genie and the spirit is malevolent but easily tricked by the protagonist, the blind poet al ma arri mentioned in his narrations, a paradise for Afarit with narrow straits and dark valleys. In early folklore, the Ifrit is said to be formed from the blood of a murder victim. 
Driving an unused nail into the blood was supposed to stop their formation. The creatures were reported as being able to take the form of Satan, the murder victim, or even a sandstorm. In modern popular culture An ifrit plays a major role as a story element in Bollywood film Parai, not a fairy tale where the lead character played by Anushka Sharma is the progeny of an ifrit and human, due to a cult practice. The film was based on a book series called An Ember in the Ashes. The trading card game Magic, The Gathering has featured several afrit". Since the earliest expansion sets, Ifrit is a prominent summon to fight with in the Final Fantasy video game series. Like their mythological counterparts, Ifrits are spirits of fire and destruction, almost always appearing as a devilish monster that uses either fire, earth, or both to do damage to either the monster the player is fighting or as a boss against the player himself. See also Ancient Egyptian concept of the soul hashtag ka vital spark Archdemon Genie in popular culture Iblis Marid Wing Genie Zabaniya References <references> <references>